work on individually this week? What was important to work on individually? And what kind of things do you guys want to address as a team with your bye week? Um, we worked on a lot of different things. Me personally, uh, I worked on uh, routes, uh, worked on timing with the quarterbacks. And then as a team, we just worked on getting better overall. Same here on this side of the field. Uh, Defensive-wise, you know, we corrected mistakes we had against Michigan State. You know, we worked on a lot of techniques and uh, getting our hands better and our feet, our feet work, because technique is a big part of our game. And, you know, just getting better, you know, resting our bodies as much as possible. Other questions? Go with Chris here in the first row to the middle. I'm sorry, John. Uh, <laughs> what does... Um, your coach have to say to you, or what did he have to say to you about perhaps one loss not taking you guys out of the Big Ten race and, and the forward focus you need to have? Uh, he told us to uh, focus on us and our team, you know, uh, depending on if we would have won or lost or anything. Uh, we have to keep on winning, keep on taking every game uh, as it's the last game and uh, go out and try to compete each game. Anyone else? Dan, over to the far right. Really, uh, Coach Snyder talked about Jared Wilson and his, his leadership style and how he's not a guy who's going to wait for the ground a lot, but he's kind of being silently. Have you, have you seen that? And in what ways does he kind of out the defense? You know, he's a, a guy that's not a big talker. He's a, a doer. So you can see by his work ethic a lot of times that uh, what kind of leader he is on and off the field, you know, in the classroom. And also when it's when we're off the field in the locker room, kind of kind of person he is, kind of teammate. <laughs> who cares for his teammates, you know, who want the best for, for everyone in our locker room, whether, you know, it's the class he came in with or the younger guys. He's always trying to coach somebody, you know, and try to help them, help the team. Michael, and the first row to your left. Uh, Mara, John Falk is not here anymore, so who tells the jug story every year? Uh, um, no one's told it this year yet, but I, I think the – being here for a while, we we all know the stories, and now we uh, we've been uh, telling the younger guys about it. How this is an important trophy thing. So, do you notice that it's not? Do you notice its absence this year? Uh, yeah, yeah, we notice notice it's not there, and then uh, something that we're uh, planning on getting back. First row, all the way to the right, Jake. Willing, I guess kind of an off offbeat question. I noticed your shirt on the back says ten twenty five fourteen. Is that, that when did you get that? Is that representative of uh, the Michigan State rivalry? Uh, this was a shirt Coach Hope gave us last year, so it's nothing to do with this year or anything like that. Which is something Coach Hope gave us the week of we played Michigan State. Angelique, first question, first row, all the way to your left. We talked to a couple of players Tuesday. Jordan said he hadn't the game, the finish of the game had not left him. How long did it take for you to get over that, or have you gotten over the, the finish of the game? Uh, me personally, it took me a couple of days. Uh, because the way it went down and everything, but uh, I think uh, I, I think I moved on for, from it. Now I'm focusing on Minnesota now and uh, the rest of the, uh, the season. So uh, I don't think uh, dwelling on the past is going to do any. Uh, it's going to help us in any way. So I think it's best for uh, for us to just move on and now focus on finishing strong. Same here. Last row, all the way to the right. Will, can you talk about the D line as a unit? Do you guys, do you feel like you guys are kind of performing as well as you can right now, or just? Where, where are you guys right now in the process? Uh, we're doing pretty well right now. You know, I most definitely see us doing better. You know, as a defensive front, you know, getting more pressure on the quarterback on the first and second down play action passes and transitioning better on uh, on, on play action. So uh, I feel like we can do better. You know, we're doing a, a decent job, a good enough job, you know, putting pressure on quarterback. But I feel like we can step it up a little bit. Got time for a few more. Others have questions? Thank you for your time. We'll switch these guys.